Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to be making a pocket. Okay, this pocket right here, we're going to be seeing the beginning process to this final look. So first of all, we're just going to calculate how deep we want our pocket to be and also the width of the pocket. I'm going to be making the pocket slightly longer than the crotch which is 12 so slightly longer than the 12 inch mark that we have there okay just adding two inches and one inch extra for the pockets and then we're also going to calculate our width from here our width is three i would advise that we go with two inches rather than three because mine was a little bit wider on the wide side so just do that for a safer result okay so now i'm cutting the pockets guys the width here is seven and a half inch and the length is 12 plus one inch for our allowance for a stitching allowance okay so remember this seven and a half inches what's it going to cut what's it going to curve or carve it out in order to okay just watch anyway so now we're going to cut two of this two pieces of this like so so now that that's done we're simply going to mark the back and front okay that's important too when you're drafting a pocket especially if it's going to if the size are not the same and it's going to make a huge difference so now we're just going to mark those lines out. Remember I said rather than using three, please use two and a half or two. Okay, mine was a little bit wider than I intended for it to be, okay? And then the length will be about, uh, with, this is the opening, okay? This is the opening, so we're using seven inches. This is not the length of the pocket. This is just like the length of the opening. And I'm using seven inches here, guys. And now we're gonna go in by half an inch on the top and bottom, okay? Okay, now we're just gonna connect that like so. So now all you need to do now is just cut it out following the half inch mark that we, okay, that we marked out. We're just gonna cut it out like so you're gonna see the importance as you sew so you might not see it right now but you'll definitely see it as you sew so now Okay, now so we're going to get our pockets so that's the pocket that we drafted already as you can see this is how both sides look like so we're just going to flip it open flip the pockets that we've drafted open as well and then we're going to place it exactly the way i'm placing it please the part where i marked with my marker on my chalk is the wrong side and the other side is the right side okay so we're just going to place right sides facing right sides in order to cut and you should know that we're cutting on only one side of the pocket which is why i opened it up and not kept it folded in like so so we're just going to do the same thing we're going to cut the same thing once so what i'm doing here is i'm facing right sides to right sides on the pockets that i've drafted out or cut out because i want to just cut it once i 
as we know in order to get a shape we have to face everything or place everything right size facing right size because that's when you're going to be sure that okay it's going to fit into the both sides i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying but yeah this is basically how you're going to cut it at once that is both pockets so now we're just going to go in like so remember it's on only one side guys only one side of the pocket So now this is our finished look so now we're just going to separate everything together as you can see it's going to fit perfectly into both even though we used one side to cut both as you can see so now we're just going to stitch it up like this okay then we're going to flip as well and then stitch the bottom of the pocket itself okay guys so here's me i've having done one of them i went ahead to stitch it up like so so we're just going to cut out a bit in order to make it relaxed and free and not stiff or anything we're just going to notch like so and then we're gonna flip it again and this time to top stitch i already did the other side here as you can see but i'm just showing you now how we're gonna do the second one okay so we're just gonna top stitch like this like i did here you can see how neat it is and then i also And then I also stitched the bottom as you can see there as well. So now we're just going to stitch that but not right now. That will be for later on a later date. And you're also going to stitch the top as well okay guys. So I would suggest we simply not use this method because I just brought out the cutout piece in order to measure where the excess is at and where to be taken out from. But instead I would suggest we just fold it in and measure the waist again. Okay, which is what I later did. But yeah, so we're just going to finish this up now. As you can see, we've done that. I went ahead to iron and pin all of the sides together like so. So now um, I'm just going to place everything together like this in order to trim off any excesses and get our initial waist back in motion. That's our initial waist measurement. So our initial waist measurement is seven and a half seven and a half plus our sewing allowance okay plus our sewing allowance and then we're just going to connect that together so now we have our initial waist measurements and then we're going to cut out that excess right there for our darts we're going to go in a little bit by half an inch just to have that snatched effect okay and then we also came down by three and a half inches also to get the darts measurements correctly so now we're just gonna curve it out like so guys So here is me trying to align the front piece with the back piece making sure it is correct and as you can see it is very much correct so we're just going to go on ahead and trim it off
Okay guys, now this is our waist. This is our front piece of our pants. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.